Good morning, uh, Madison. This is uh, Mayor Bob Courtney. I wanted to come to you this morning to talk more about actions that uh, we are taking to help our community through the crisis uh, revol uh, revolving around the coronavirus. Last week we had announced actions that we were taking at City Hall mostly um, regarding containing the virus and that was about restricting access to City Hall, closing public bathrooms, those types of things. Uh, the governor, Governor Holcomb, as well as President Trump have recently made several emergency declarations that are uh, to put our country on alert. Um, they're also doing things and working through the legislative process in order to bring aid to our communities, uh, particularly the businesses, small businesses that are going to that are greatly impacted by this coronavirus. It's already affected the city of Madison. As you know, Governor Holcomb has issued several uh, declarations. The first one to, to uh, impact the community was the closure of our restaurants and, and bars, except for uh, takeout uh, uh, food, food service, for example. What I wanted to do today was talk with you about other actions that the city of Madison is, is taking in order to help our economy. We know that a lot of people are going to be impacted uh, through the loss of jobs. Uh, we know that there are going to be layoffs uh, through, that are going to ripple through our community through a variety of industries and we want to do what we can to help maintain some stability in our, in our economy and certainly bring aid to those, those families uh, who are unfortunately are losing their jobs. So this morning I wanted to mention those things to you and then uh, following this uh, press, uh, press conference uh, we will actually do a formal press release and we'll get it out to the media. Uh, before I do that, I also want to mention one thing, one action that we took at this week's city council meeting with regards to uh, a resolution uh, approving uh, changes to our PACE program. The PACE program is the Preservation and Community Enhancement Program that was established under Mayor Welch's administration several years ago. It's been very successful in promoting historic uh, uh, renovation projects through our, throughout our downtown area. And then following that was the stellar um, uh, projects which created strategic investment opportunities for the city of Madison and it really focused on some quality of life initiatives but, but mostly it, its impact is going to be with large adaptive reuse projects. So we're grateful that those things are occurring. We want to extend um, those programs to help our community by enhancing the PACE program and making sure that we can actually further revitalization efforts and bring capital, private capital, to, for neighborhood revitalization program. And so we've established higher grant limits. We also established three targeted neighborhoods. And the goal there is to attract about $2 million of private investment to help uh, clean up our neighborhoods. We believe firmly that clean, safe, and beautiful neighborhoods are great for a vibrant community. But more than ever now, it's also economic stimulus. That $2 million of private capital uh, will ripple through our economy and also help keep people employed and allow them uh, incomes, for example, to buy what they need to get us through these tough times. So I hope the community will support us, uh, support us in those efforts. If you, uh, please reach out to your councilmen and ask them to support uh, these efforts. Uh, more than ever, we need to make sure that we are funneling our energies to help our community and definitely help our economy. And there's nothing, I think, that's going to help our economy more today than uh, doing whatever we can to promote investment and to promote particularly the construction trades. So, the sm so that's the PACE program. Please support that. What I want to do now is make a few announcements of other actions that we're taking to help alleviate the impact on our local, local community. Uh, the first wave of actions that we took were about containing the coronavirus, and that's what I just mentioned earlier about limiting access. But what we want to make sure that we that we don't do is unintentionally inhibit activity. We are we firmly believe that the city of the business needs to continue because what's good for city administration is good for our, our community. So we are making sure that all essential uh, boards and committees continue to meet. We have approximately 20. Uh, volunteer boards and committees including City Hall and the Board of Public Works and we want to make sure that the, the essential ones continue to meet and so we've identified approximately eight of those boards that will continue to meet. 
Governor Holcomb has, in his declaration is allowing us to be innovative and flexible in our in our meeting structures. So we're going to continue to make sure that they meet and do the business of the city, and 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 that will also help aid our construction industry and and other individuals uh, who need approvals from city government for certain actions. The next wave of of our actions that we want to take are intended to help our community economically. I did mention the PACE program. Uh, um, there are several other announcements that I want to make quickly today. One is we will be um, suspending all debt service payments for our micro loan and our revolving loan program for a period of 90 days. Those businesses, and largely there are restaurant businesses who are the most impacted right now initially with the governor's orders with regard to closures, uh, can need all the cash flow that they can get. And so we are suspending debt service payments on our micro loan and revolving loan program for up to 90 days. We'll reevaluate at that period of time. We are also, for the next 60 days, going to suspend water and sewer disconnections. We want to make sure that we can aid families in this time of need, so we will not be dis disconnecting anybody's water and sewer. We'll also not be assessing late charges or reconnecting re reconnect fees. Now, I do want to ask you, if you do have the resources to continue to pay your utility bills, please do so. It's those funds that help our um, city government function, so please you know, please pay your bills if you can. If you are uh, experiencing economic hardship, this is meant to help you. The other thing that we'll be doing is streamlining the Historic District Board Review application process. Our preservation planner is working with our Historic District Board Review on uh, changes to the rules and procedures so that more applications can be approved at the staff level rather than through the actual uh, appearance in front of the Historic District Board of Review process. We're going to be implementing these procedures for the next 60 days. I mentioned also how critical the construction industry is to our economy. As the hospitality industries and the manufacturing industries in some uh, respects slow down, we want to make sure that we are doing our part to enable our construction industries to thrive. So we are going to be suspending all building permit fees and we're also going to be suspending contractor registration fees. We want as many contractors as possible to register and follow the normal uh, process for registration as well as promote um, construction projects and we're going to do our part um, to, to, to aid in that process by eliminating contractor registration fees and building permit fees for the next 60 days. Uh, so thank you to all of our construction uh, uh, contractors and construction teams and everybody involved in that trade uh, in our community. And you know the thing that, that, that we also need to understand is that from an economics perspective you know, every dollar that, that cycles through our economy, there's a multiplier effect. And so when we're talking about economic development, promoting business, uh, hiring local uh, contractors and vendors and suppliers, that aids our community and that's going to help our community survive this, uh, this uh, crisis that we're in now. One of the most major actions we're going to be taking that I'm pleased to present to you today that we have uh, unanimous uh, City Council support on is a temporary jobs replacement program. Frequently throughout the course of the year and already in our city budgets, we have seasonal employment uh, opportunities. Most of that seasonal employment opportunity doesn't occur until uh, our parks programs, for example, ramp up. What we're going to do now is accelerate the hiring of seasonal employees and put them to work throughout the course of the city, whether it be the streets department, the utilities department, the parks department, or city administration. Our goal is to hire up to 100 people at $15 an hour, able to work for th uh, 30 hours a week and help us keep our city moving and do projects uh, that we know are needed that are already on our project list uh, across the city to make our, our community cleaner, safer, beautiful, for example. And we think that n and now is the time to take a lead in uh, promoting employment. I also want to ask all the other mayors across the state of Indiana and in our nearby communities to follow our lead. Every budget across the state for the most part has the uh, ability to hire seasonal employees. 
don't wait. Don't wait until the end of the summer. Don't wait until we find out what's going to happen with our tourism industries to, to take action. We have projects already in the hopper that we're waiting to happen. Let's make it happen now. So I ask all mayors across the state uh, to do what we can to further uh, the, the, to minimize the blow to our economy. We're going to do this for 60 days. We'll continue to, to reevaluate it then. And what this might mean for our community is later in the year we may not be able to do some of the things, uh, capital improvement projects, for example, that we had intended. But it's important now that our families survive this crisis. And uh, doing our part economically will, uh, will help make sure that we can continue going forward. Well, that's all I have for you today. We're going to continue to make sure that we communicate well with the public, support one another, support our restaurants who are uh, offering uh, carry-out services, for example, and be there for uh, those who may be uh, shut in, particularly the elderly community. And let's, 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 let's reach out a helping hand to one another, and I know we can get through this together, but there'll be more to come from the City of Madison and our leadership here to do what we can for our community and more announcements uh, uh, that we'll be making to attack this problem head on. Thank you, Madison. Uh, God bless you, and, and good luck, and uh, thank you for, uh, uh, for sharing in this uh, valuable uh, community that we have.